Hey everyone, this is Miss Kikis. Today in economics, we are going to be learning about market structures. Market structures describe how much businesses compete with each other. Some businesses compete a lot and others barely compete with anyone. For each market structure, we will go over how much control they have over their price, if their products are differentiated, how many barriers there are to enter the market, and how many sellers there are in the market structure. The first type of market structure we'll go over is perfect competition. A good example of this kind of market structure would be a farmer's market selling bananas. In a perfect competition, there are a large number of buyers and sellers, and all of the products are identical. These are very important characteristics to remember. So think of our example of a farmer's market selling bananas. There are a large number of people wanting to buy bananas and a large number of people selling bananas. Also, all of the bananas are the same. Since all of the products are identical, businesses in a perfect competition have little control over their price. They are called price takers. No one can charge $5 for a banana, so they have to take the price that consumers are willing to buy. Lastly, there are few barriers to entry. This means there are few obstacles preventing businesses from competing with others. There is nothing stopping someone from competing with these businesses. The second type of market structure we'll go over is monopolistic competition. A good example of this kind of market structure would be to think about places that sell burgers. How many places can you think of that sell burgers? A lot, right? Well, businesses in a monopolistic competition have a large number of buyers and sellers. Since there are a large number of buyers and sellers, there are few barriers to entry. Again, this means that there are few obstacles preventing businesses from competing with each other. Many people can sell burgers and compete well against other businesses. Now, is a fast food burger the same as a restaurant burger? No, they are most certainly not. Many burgers compete based on quality or even branding. This is called product differentiation. The products differ. Because the products differ in quality or brand, businesses have some control over their price. This is called non-price competition because they are competing on other factors besides price. The third type of market structure we'll go over is an oligopoly. A good example of this kind of market structure would be the major soft drink companies in the United States. When you think of the major soft drink companies in the United States, you can probably think of two large ones and maybe a few others. In an oligopoly, there are only a few large sellers who dominate the market. Since these few large sellers dominate the market, there are high barriers to entry. This means that there are many obstacles preventing businesses from competing with the large businesses. In an oligopoly, the products might be identical or they might be differentiated. When thinking about soft drink companies, sometimes they sell products identical to each other and sometimes the products are different. When they are different, they will compete using non-price competition. When it comes to setting prices in an oligopoly, there is something called price leadership. If one business increases or decreases their price, the other companies will have to follow to maintain the competition. This can either be good or bad for consumers. The last type of market structure we'll go over is a monopoly. A good example of this kind of market structure would be electrical power companies or cable television companies. The most important characteristic of a monopoly is that there is one seller of a singular product that dominates the market. Since they are the only business selling that product, we do not have to determine if the products are different or identical. 
Since there is only one seller in the market, there are very high barriers to entry. This means that there are many obstacles preventing businesses from competing with the monopoly. The danger of a monopoly can be their strong control over their price. Since there are no other competitors, they are called price makers. They can make or set the price to be what the business wants. When it comes to monopolies, the government has stepped in as a regulator to try and stop this from occurring. However, there are four different legal types of monopolies that occur. There are natural monopolies, such as electric or utility companies. There are geographic monopolies, based on location. There are technological monopolies, due to patents. There are also government monopolies, which are businesses controlled by the government. So to go over, our four different market structures are perfect competition, monopolistic competition, oligopoly, and monopoly. Each market structure differs when it comes to their number of sellers, barriers to entry, price control, and product differentiation. These four market structures could even be placed on a continuum of competitiveness, with perfect competition being the most competitive and monopolies being the least competitive. With each market structure, I provided an example to help you relate it to our real-world experiences. Be sure to use examples when thinking of the many different characteristics of each market structure. Well, I hope this video helped in your understanding of the basic characteristics of each of the four market structures. As always, please be sure to ask any follow-up questions you may have, and I can't wait to see you all in class. Bye, everyone!